합시다. 하이. 아, 저기. Florida. It is so nice and sunny today. Although it's like hurricane season, so it's gonna start raining. But I leave here, my flight's at five, so I think I'm gonna leave before the rain hits. Every vlog, somebody asks me what hijab I'm wearing, so this is the viscose woven wrap. If you're not familiar with all our hijabs, we have a ton. I have so many tutorials on all of them. I actually have a video where I explain every single fabric, when to wear it, what makes it different from the, from the rest. This is viscose, this is in rose, and yeah, it's one of my favorite, favorite, um, not only hijabs, but hijab colors. Let me just show you guys my outfit. So I'm actually really bummed out, because I forgot a belt, and um, whenever I wear this dress, I need a belt to cinch in my waist because otherwise it kind of looks a little frumpy, which kind of stinks, but yes, this is the outfit. So I actually wanted to answer a question that somebody had in one of the comments, which was, where do I get the motivation to, in Ramadan, pray Tarawih every night and um, finish the Qur'an? Is it something that you grew up doing? How did it come about? It is something I grew up doing, the Tarawih part for sure. My dad was an Imam, I grew up in a pretty religious household for like half of my life. Um, there's a video where I talk about kind of my family situation, my hijab story. Um, you can go and, and listen to that for some background, but if I'm being honest, the reason why I'm so motivated is obviously I know and understand the immense blessings in Barakah that come with doing all these things. With what I have in mind and what I want to do with my life with this company and how big I want it to grow and how far I want to take it, I don't have any other choice. You know, I have to make sure that God is on my side, that I'm purifying my intentions, my heart, my character so that nothing but goodness and barakah and blessings are just poured into everything that I do. The motivation is a little selfish, you know? Like, I want the blessings. And you know, the hadith about standing in the night of prayer with the intention of pleasing Allah SWT, all, all your sins will be erased for the, from the last year. Like, I need that. I cannot risk not having all of my sins forgiven no matter how small. There's no way we would have made it this far without Allah Sultan's blessing and without all his barakah and his, his help. And that's why I'm so motivated and I'm, I'm really forthright about my goals in Ramadan. For people asking like, how do you do it? How do you do it? It's really simple. You just have to make time. You have to make it a priority. Just like you make time for other things in your life, whether it's whatever, your family, your children, cooking, cleaning, you have to make these things a priority. I must get this done today and I'm gonna find any little minute in the day that I can to do it then you'll do it when you do these things subhanAllah I promise you it puts barakah in your time it puts energy into your life it allows you to do even more and to accomplish more in your day and you'll see a huge transformation in the way that your day unfolds when you practice these acts of worship not just within Ramadan but outside Ramadan starting your day off right with Fajr Quran and the immense barakah that brings to your entire day. I hope that was helpful. And any other questions you guys have like that, leave them below. I love answering these questions. Any way that I can help, I always will. There's a shuttle. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam. Thank you. Oh, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. We're in the glam room. This is a wreath. Hey, she's gonna do my makeup. This whole room is just everyone is getting it done. A wreath is hooking up the face. She fixed my brows and then she gave me more shadow. And she did the off liner in black. I never do black liner. It looks amazing. She's teaching me her tricks. Y'all, it is popping all the time. Well, that's how I came to speak here. It was the most fun experience. So that's where I'm gonna be, obviously. I don't know anybody to give them my phone or camera to get footage of me talking, so probably not gonna get any footage of this of the talk. Say hi, Rexy! Oh. <laughs>
We're all backstage. We're just about to go on and see what these women are the best. We have so much fun here. We just finished the panel. It was amazing. I love speaking at this event. It's always hype. The crowd is like so energized and, and um, we're gonna go take our photo now. Just got back into the room. I have a half hour to pack everything, check out, and then I have two more hours. My flight leaves at three, so I've got a lot of work to do for the silk collection. A lot of people are waiting on me for things back in the office, so I'm gonna work on that. I'm so sad I'm leaving. It is so beautiful here. I wish I had time to like, just spend a little time on the beach or poolside. It would have been amazing. I am wearing the same outfit that I traveled in. <laughs> do any of you guys do that? You like use the same outfit you came in to leave in. Check out the security line. Oh yeah. Love empty airports. They're the best. So the flight's been delayed. I knew this would happen the last time I was here. Remember I said, I came here to speak at Gulf Coast University and I remember then I was delayed six hours. Here we are again, delayed. So I'm gonna get into New York at like 11. I was hoping to be in early, get a good night's sleep. I haven't had a good night's sleep in weeks. I just got home. What a crazy day. What a crazy week. What a crazy life. I wish I had taken off my makeup in the hotel before I left. All right guys, this is me. Time to sleep. See y'all tomorrow. Bye.